Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Scott Jordan here in this video today, man. I'm back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Studio Rack, how you set it up so you can make your own presets, right? So you can really see how you can set up the macros. So what I'm going to be doing to show you how you can do this with the waves from real time, show you like how you can really go in here and make this like very unique or whatever so here we go let me pull up ways from real time all right ways from real time we got it let's say we like you see the knobs like how we can set it everything could be whatever all right so we could just set this up like whatever create a scale whatever however we want to do this right full reset this is it blank nothing here so this is the beauty of the studio rack plugin right here so let's say like we wanted to turn this into like our tracking um, plugin right here, just one studio red plugin, and we just want to start off with the waves from real time. So, this is what we do we can go over here to this right here, and we can be like, okay, on and off. So, this right here turns it on and off. So, um, waves on, on, off. All right, so this is the on and off switch. You see the blue lights go on and off. That's how you do that right there, right? So, let's say we want on two, we need the speed, right? So, this controls the speed. Right here, you see what it's doing? Speed, same thing for no transition. We just go back in, no transition. Now we can control that no transition right here. And then as well, correction. This is very important right here, how we are gonna do this right here. Very easy, give you four easy knobs just like that, right? Okay, we being cool, we being cool, everything good, right? Following me. All right, this is where we can get a little creative right here and have more control. This is the Studio Rack really at its finest right here because, you know, it's really two scales that you're going to use. You're going to use like a natural minor or minor and whatever. Then it's like major, right? Those two scales, you're going to use those. So what we want to do, man, we want to eliminate anybody using this from going past those two, right? We want them to stay major and natural minor. So this is what we do. We go here. Go in here, and now we're like, okay, what it is, scale, type, right? All right, so now you see this popped up in red. So now we can do this. Like, the far as we go, it just changes it, right? Yeah, crazy, right? So now we want to be really creative. What we do, man, we just edit this. <laughs> now we're inside a little bit further into the plugin. So what we do now is... We like the max. We got to figure out how to get this max all the way down. I'm talking about like all the way down. All the way down. This is like so crazy. Like it'll take a little time. That's why like somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it before you do it, right? Because it's like minor, pentatonic, major. And like this is like crazy. Like, you got all these different options. Like, we want to take away all of that. We don't want none of that. All right, so now, all right, so the max, we can do minor, and then the major right there. Now we have those set right there. Now, here we go. Now we go back. Now, the only two options we have is major and natural minor, right? You following me? That's cool, right? Like, that's real cool. That's something cool to do. So now you won't even mess up. So if it's major and if it don't sound right, and you just do that right there, boom, you'll probably have it right in the right key, right scale, right? So this is scale, all right? And now we can go back over here and do a little bit better. We can go the root. That is the key note, right? So I'm going to rename this just for y'all, man, just so y'all know, just so y'all know. Hold on, let me click on this real quick. Okay. Key. And this is the scale. That's spell scale, right? That shit look weird. <laughs> All right, so key. So now the key, we sit here and just go back and forth. Like, that's D, then that's D flat. You know, real easy. See how the control is right here? Like, this is, like, real interesting. This is, like... Yeah, this is like you look cool. Like instead of pulling up this plugin, like you do everything right here. And then let's say um we wanna put like some compression. So like we could put whatever compressor you want. I like the Sheps. I like to record with this. The Sheps seventy three. I like to record with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna set this right here. Cause all I do is turn this up. 
and it just boosts my signal so I can sound like I hear everything a little bit louder than what I'm really doing so I can really get into it, hear it, and really catch a vibe, have fun with it without being too loud outside of the microphone. <laughs> Not, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if I get, like, too, 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 too loud, it's going to let me know. You feel me? So, I just mess around with this. So, what I can do is go over here and assign this to the output, All right? So, where is it at? Go to the output. So now I got control of the output, and this is the let's see pre, let's see preamp. All right, so this is the preamp volume. We can change this up and down, and then let's say we wanted to add like some reverb, right? So we could go in here, add like a parallel split to this. So now we can put in like some reverb or something. I need this, this main, main one to be dry. dry. All right, so turn the second one on. Turn the second on. Now we can drive in the plugin. Yeah. Ooh. Shining You feel me? So now it's like you got the waves on. Everything was set. Like, ooh. Like it's low, turn it up. I can hear myself a little bit better. Cool. And now it's like I can go here and be like, okay, let me see. I can set my reverb here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So this right here, let's say we want to control that. When I find a slide, you just go here. We go parallel split. Okay, the many, where is it at? Uh, reverb amount. And that should be the one in the middle. So let's see what we got. Yep, perfect. <laughs> yeah, 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 yo, yeah. I can sit here and do this all day. I ain't even really got to pull up the plugin. Just send me the key. I'll put it in there. Scale. Let me switch that. You know, note transition. You want a little bit better. Speed. A little bit better. You want to dial the correction back some. Cool. Want to turn you up a little bit more? Fine. You know, a little bit more reverb? Cool. No problem. You want to weigh some off? Weigh some off. It's just like that. So simple, man. Want to back on? That simple. <laughs> this is crazy, man. But, but listen, you can download this preset for free, all right? You can add on to this, or you can record with this. Do whatever you want to do. This is how you can make your own Studio Rap plugin, right? This is what you do. Like the macros. If you're not using the macros, you're not really using this plugin to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? So learn how to use the macros. Learn how to set up the macros, and then you be good to go. All right, but listen, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Sky Jordan. I'm out of here. All right, but look, download this shit. Have fun. <laughs> you know, I'll see you in another video. All right.